Hello tubers! Well, Mark's very kindly allowed me to do a very quick unboxing video on my channel of his Gen 7. Um, we'll talk why it's a quick unboxing towards the end. Let's have a quick look then. Because we had a quick look in TJD's at it, hence otherwise we wouldn't have brought it. TJD's? It does, it does look pretty good. It does. I quite like how they've packed it as well. A lot of bubble wrap. It's very tubular for tubers. We'll make an RC track out of that. Yeah, try and crawl it afterwards. <laughs> right, to start with, you get your nonsense sheet of destructions about your controller, what it does and what it doesn't do. It's not gash, but we'll put that out of the way. We're not interested in that. But I have to say, tubers. I've said this before on some of my unboxing videos, Traxxas controllers, without going too in depth, like I said, I want this just to be a very short unboxing. I hate to say it because I love Traxxas, but these are on the verge of gash. That looks like a million dollars in comparison. You've got a panel here that reveals some gimmicky stuff. But all very needed. The on off button keeps it waterproof, water will rush off, so you can use this in all weather. Uh, you can reverse the steering throttle, reverse the throttle, band button, power status, steering trim, throttle trim, steering jewel rate. I'm not familiar with what that is, but look forward to finding out. It does feel cheap in your hand, I've got to admit, it's not like it's luxury plastic, but do you know what? I just think that looks 10 times better than what Traxxas have got. You know, their imagination lacks at times. But anyway, pop that down there. <coughs> You've got a sheet about your batteries. What's under here? If I could understand German, I would translate this for you, but I don't. And this is what we're really interested in. Let's get rid of this. Because there is going to be a bigger unboxing with the tubers. <clears throat> Before we look at the car, I'll just pop that there. Let's finish looking at what you get. You get a bag of accessories. Normally to do with your shocks. You get the binding bit for the receive for the receiver. I imagine this foam stuff's for your battery tray. I don't want to completely undo it, but there are, like I say, a few accessories, perhaps for your suspension spacers, and perhaps maybe some servo bits. Not too sure. But you get a nice chunky feeling manual there. A bit black and white, not particularly special. Timber! Right. And this is the toy itself. It's hobby grade, for sure. It's about £250-ish. I'm not sure that works out in dollars. Probably similar to $300 maybe. I have a quick look inside. But as we didn't notice in the shop at the time, I think they're gash. But them, they look rather tasty. That'll make it look like a Bronco or more like the Bronco styling, which Mark initially wanted. Underneath, we've got that metal framework. We did look at a couple of others, but they were all plastic. You know, the ESC, I believe is Hobby Wing. It's a red cap receiver. It does feel rather nice. The only thing I will say, and I like the tyres as well. They got a nice tread pattern and they're very soft as well. So they should get nice angles. The only thing I don't like, and you won't be able to see on camera, but you will in the other review or unboxing video, is that the steering arm fails on the body. Until we're out on the course and crawling, I don't know how that's going to behave. But overall, my first impressions, I think it's a little bit front weighted. Uh, motor and everything, as you can see, is quite central. Body mass of the weight is in the middle. But you're going to have, right, it's not the correct battery, this is quite a heavy one, 
but it's going to be weighted quite forward. That's probably good for crawling uphill, to be honest with you. What else can we say about it? I don't want to go too much in depth, because otherwise it's kind of very counterintuitive. But I think for the money, it's a very good entry level crawler. Now I'm just going to invite Mark in, because I don't want to make this too big a video. Right, just as I'm going to start putting this back together, like I said, we're going to do a proper unboxing video. Now that's going to come on a joint channel with Mark. We've both been into RC cars for quite a while. We've yes. got a collection. Mark, I don't want to ruin it because it is a spoiler for a future video, but Mark's got a very special uh, 1980s 81. 81 crawler where it all started. Genesis, I think the word is, you know. Where all super bikes started from the Vincent Black Shadow, crawlers the, all seem to yeah. originate from this model. You're not going to say what it is. This started the craze. Yeah, I believe. I believe it started the craze. Certainly a very good bit of kit. But anyway, as we say, we're going to make a joint channel because my channel, I'm not deserting RC from a channel. I will still be uploading on this channel, but perhaps more still carrying on with my varied content because that's what mm. I enjoy. Yeah. I've started this channel so when I'm 50 in a brander with whatever the latest invention of iPad is I can look back at my life and those memories are always going to be there. I've never worried about subscribers or viewers really. I know I go hey sometimes you know we'd all love to be big famous tubers but I think with our passion and Mr Williams here be still joining us on the new channel I think our passion a dedicated channel is the right yeah. way forward, yeah. isn't it? Just RCs, drones, speedboats. Oh, Anything speed remote controlled, yeah. yeah. And I mean, we will be doing a competition on the new channel. Not necessarily the first day of the channel opening. We're going to try and get something up maybe before August. I'd yeah. like to think before the end of July, but... You know, I don't within, wanna, within the next two months. Yeah, we want to get some content, so yeah. there's at least half a dozen, maybe ten, you know, nicely edited, because I don't really want to spend loads of time on the editing. Mark here will probably be doing most of the editing for the new channel, and that's not to brush me, you know, work load off onto him. He enjoys that just as much as he enjoys playing with this stuff. I mean, We've both got a channel each that yeah. is not in the right direction to no. add this content no, to. No, I mean, I, I couldn't upload RC content onto my channel. It just wouldn't go with the content that I upload. The theme. On. Yeah. And I mean, my theme's really varied. And we both just want to put something back into the hobby. Hmm. You know, there are some big channels out there already. We're not trying to compete with them because they already, you know, have got such a huge following. It'd be stupid to oh, think... Yeah. We could be the next... Some, some of them got millions, haven't they? Yeah. Hundreds and thousands of subscribers. And, and I doubt we'll ever get to millions of subscribers, but... If we could get a few hundred in the thousands, yeah. I think that would be a great realistic goal, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, it'd make it... Con filming this stuff, it'd make it a bit more rewarding as well. And we're not doing it necessarily for rewards, like we say. We're doing it to give the hobby something back at the end of the day. I'll repeat myself a little bit there. But in the future videos, I also won't be necessarily out throwing T-Bag because that's my trademark. Yeah. You know, it'd be like Mark trying to come in and putting blood on everything. You know, we've got to leave our own channels where they are in that respect. Yeah. You know, you won't be uploading your content on this channel and I won't be uploading. No. No. Visiting a siren, and no. I love all that. I mean, stuff. My, my existing channel I've already got is I'm just going to keep uploading the content that I already the style of content I already upload to it. So this just doesn't fit the bill, yeah. And this this doesn't go, so we've decided to, and it's the case with both channels, we've decided to start a new channel dedicated just to our scene drones, yeah. boats, crawlers, bashers, everything. We've got enough vehicles, yeah. I mean, you didn't necessarily need to buy this today. No. You have a couple of crawlers and a very yeah, good one. But my old one, I wouldn't want to take through mud and water because it's just the parts just cost too much money to replace because they're so hard to find. They're rare, yeah. I mean, my, my little wing mirror on it, £25 because they're so rare. Yeah. So. Anyway, that's enough waffling for today's video. 
we will put a link in the description below when the new channel's active. And again, I promise you, you'll still see plenty of RC content on this channel. It's just not going to be dedicated to it. I want, we want a channel dedicated to RC. So, mm. For maybe one of the last times on my videos with RC for the foreseeable future. Two back! Yeah.